Do you trust everyone you meet to be transparent, trustworthy, and true? I think at one time we all did. As a child, you simply expect it, but the older you get, the more reality sets in a bit, doesn't it? Sin, evil, selfishness, and bad intentions can abound below the surface, and often we get burned or hurt as a result. The innocence we once held slips away. It's easy over time to become less trusting, more cynical, and doubting the integrity of others. My children display this for me at times when they come to me with an ever so cute smile and begin a conversation with, Mommy, you're the best. There is usually a hidden agenda. They try to soften me up for something they want. We learned very early how to get our own way. Just watch a set of new parents or parents of a toddler in the checkout line. I've been there. You end up giving into their agenda and selfish desire of wanting candy because they throw a fit and you simply want them to be quiet. Who's training who? We all have agendas. For some, their agenda is way out in the open and very clear. Others may seem to be one thing on the surface, but the hidden agenda is another thing entirely. It's easy to fall into a judgmental spirit and lose trust in those around us. With all we face around the world, within our country, on the news, through social media, we see one thing and hear one message, but then an underlying agenda is revealed, which further erodes our trust. What we were being sold on, communicated, or manipulated to believe, turns out isn't the truth at all. Hidden agendas. We experience it every single day. So how do we know who to trust? And going beyond trust, how do we love people that have hidden agendas? 1 Corinthians 13, 4. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. I may not fully know or trust your agenda, but my agenda should always be to love you. It's not possible to fully love without trust. Love always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres, even when met face to face with someone who, in our opinion, might not deserve it. It's the unconditional love of Jesus. It's sacrificial and undeserving. Dying at the hands of an angry mob with a very clear agenda, Jesus still prayed, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He died so they might live. It's all about the heart, and only God knows the heart of man. That's not ours to judge. We seek wisdom, we test everything, and hold fast to what is good. We may have to set some boundaries when trust is broken, and I pray for protection from the evil hearts of man. But even still, my heart will choose to love others, even my enemies. And I trust and know God is bigger than any hidden agenda I cannot see. That's the truth. Don't let go of trust. Does it make you more vulnerable? Yes, but it also makes you quicker to love. And that's an agenda worth pursuing. I'm Lori Klein.